So today's video, we're gonna go over my CPU mining profits since November 21st, 2023. So uh, let's see, two full months of running the CPU mining rigs on NiceHash going against the old, what is it? I always make sure I say it correctly. If I can click on the button. Running against the random X Monero algorithm on NiceHash. So we have seven rigs running. As you all know, if you watch the channel, it's the same old stuff, uh, same old information. Mining is really tanked. That's the first bullet point right now. What are the profitability on the CPU mining? It, uh, uh, if you factor in electricity, it's not really that great. It again is not what it was like as good as it was back in uh, November, which uh, it was really good. And then it's just like anything goes up, it goes down and stays down for a long time. Then maybe it goes back up a little bit and comes back down. It's down more a lot. It's down a lot more uh, than it is up. It's like, you're never supposed to really make any money doing this. It's really for, uh, it's really for fun and education and just, uh, just to keep yourself busy and keep yourself out of trouble, right? But having said that, let's go through this. I've got my rigs. I had them powered off today because profitability tanked. It was horrible. I just said, I'm not going to be around. So let's just turn the rigs off. Get some of the dust bunnies out of the uh, fan coolers. And uh, we'll fire them back up later. So now I'm back at the old Mazon, the old house. And then I'm going to, I just fired them right back up. Went through the Ryzen Master and made sure the voltage is correct. One I did miss, and then the temp was like 80 Celsius, so I knew I forgot to run the, up, the apply the 1.1 uh, voltage on the Ryzen CPU. So you notice it right away. So always check if you restart your rig. Always come into the dashboard a few minutes later and check your temps and everything, and even your hashes. Maybe you did something wrong. Maybe that's, that dumb MSR mod error is popping up again, which will affect your which will affect your hash rate. Like right here, I don't know why five is acting up. Let's go look at it. I don't know, what is going on with you? Why is five so low? That is pitiful. I must have done something wrong. So I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna kill it. <clears throat> go to creator mode. This is Ryzen Master. And I'm gonna go over here. Do I have the voltage set? Yeah, 1.1. Uh, you know what? I probably didn't hit apply and test, but I'm sure I did, but you never know. Do it again, running the stress test to make sure <clears throat> to make sure that these uh, settings are good for the CPU. Again, this is a little uh, Ryzen 5, nothing great, but it does, hey, it's a couple hashes, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna let it sit there gathering dust. And in uh, another video, I'm, I think, I don't know if it's out yet, I found that I had two other motherboards with Ryzen 5s on them. And now the decision comes, do I go spend money on memory, which I don't, I don't know. At this point in the game, with the low profitability, it, I don't, I don't hate to throw money away after hardware and uh, just to make pennies on spending 100, uh, 140 bucks on memory. I'll never get that back. So forget that idea. So they'll continue gathering dust. But I do have this one with memory in it. Only one memory stick in this five. Let's see if it runs. Do it. Nice hash miner. Boom. All right, comes up. I think this is going to benchmark automatically, which drives me nuts. I think there's a way to disable that so you don't benchmark each time. Yeah, oh, wait. Oh, good, it didn't. Sometimes when you start up nice hash miner, it'll go through and benchmark. It takes about a minute. Yeah, this, all right, this one is old. I did not update this old rig, so that's why I got that MSR mod error bad on me. I definitely missed this one, so just do the old restart. Boom, fixed. All right, very exciting. Let's go back to the dashboard. He's restarting. Yeah, profitability's been out for all these rigs with this hash rate on these old Ryzen 9 3900X. Again, people are running nicer, newer CPUs. Good, good, good. These things still cost about 400 bucks, man. I was surprised. <clears throat> I was surprised to see how much these things still cost. You know, on Amazon. It's, rid it's ridiculous. So, 
Oh, having said that, I just sold two 6600s on eBay. I think I priced them too low. They went real quick, so that was stupid of me. I should have looked at the other pricing. eBay gives you a recommended median price to sell something out. I shouldn't have listened to it. But anyway, there's two more GPUs gone. I think I got a couple 6600s and some 1660s. At this point, it's just not even worth the effort to put them in a box and tape and ship it. It's just not worth my time. So I'll just probably put them in a box and keep them until I'm 90 years old and pop them open one day and go, yeah, look at that old computer GPU. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. So that's where I'm at right now. State of affairs. After two months, got the rigs running, tried to turn on a laptop rig, and it was just getting too hot because that laptop has an Intel CPU. It's not the best for crypto mining, CPU mining, so I turned that off. And now it's just a staking laptop. It's sitting there staking. <clears throat> Sorry. Staking of all things, Pulsar coin. What am I going to do with that turd? But anyway, I'm getting staking things, rewards on Pulsar coin. I don't think anyone's and using that thing. I'm amazed it's still running. So I got to figure out what's going on that. One day I mean, I could make a video on that because that means I got to dive into the Discord. I don't like Discord for some reason. Uh, it just seems like a bleh, bunch. It's just not organized too well for me. And I got to find out what's going on with Pulsar. But anyway, so I have these rigs running. Profitability is not the greatest, not even almost shouldn't be running the rigs. But my goal right now is this over here. I started with 0 0.000. Now I'm at 0 0.0089250 Bitcoin Satoshis. That's what I'm at. That is what I'm at. And that's after two months. So fiat wise, that comes to 375 schmackaroos US dollar. Not backed by anything. Used to be backed by gold, but you know, I got rid of that years ago. What, 72? And that's why it's all not even worth the paper. It's, you know, whatever. A buck is a buck, but who knows? So that's where I'm at right now. Two months in. Two months in, and I got that. Uh, my goal is to at least get up to, let's see, 0 0.09. It's about ready to flip over. And that'll be like, you know, party time. We'll have a Satoshi.09 Bitcoin party. Uh, no, we won't. And um, I might let it go to get up to, to point oh, point, oh my God, 0 0.01. That's, maybe I'll do that. I'll just let them run until I get to that. And I'll be happy with that. And uh, maybe I'll roll that money into my uh, hard wallet and just let it sit there. But yeah, that's where I'm at, man. If you want to know what you can make, with old hardware, sitting there gathering dust, boom, I didn't spend any money on hardware, just electricity. And my electricity here, it used to be 19 cents per kilowatt hour during the uh, supposed, you know, lockdown crap we had. Now it's uh, 11 cents. Not too bad, but not perfect. And now you got to pay that. You get a bill each month and you got to pay it. And that's where we're at on that. Uh, what else is going on? So we got that. We're at three. We're going to let it run to 0 .00, 0 0.001. And then we'll revisit and see what profitability is. So that's what you can do with these old hardware running for two months. Uh, they've been off a couple days here and there. Power hits. Uh, people run in a phone. Power pulls around here and the power goes out for a day. It's so stupid. People can't drive. I guess you shouldn't drive drunk is the, is the real thing. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. So, yeah, where are we at now? Let's go quickly wrap this up. Maybe, hold on. So, we got 375.20. Where are we at on Bitcoin? Ah, uh, I always look at that price. Just to give you guys a point of reference. Wow, we're back up. Bitcoin to the moon. Yeah, right. Bitcoin, remember those old channels years ago? Bitcoin Ben and then the Postovich brothers. Bitcoin to 100,000. They kept pushing that. I'm like, chill out with that talk. That's just going to turn away people you know and it kind of did yeah i, I just kind of given it real you know i bought bitcoin i've had it for a long time and been stacking ever since 2017 and it's at 42 which is good because it was down here at 40s you know the old etf here's the run-up on the etf oh my god etfs are gonna get approved right in here etfs are gonna get approved you know sell on the wait buy the rumor and then when they came out with their fake tweet and then they made it public the next day that they approved the ETF. You should have dumped. And then everything went down from 48,000 right there down to uh, 39. And now we're back up to 42. Not too bad. I do have this little guy right here, this FBTC. 
uh, Fidelity, that's their ETF, Bitcoin ETF. They are waiving all fees until August 2024. So if you want to get into it, do it. Yeah, the beauty of this, I'll tell you the beauty of this right now. If you really believe in Bitcoin, you can purchase FBTC through, uh, so this is Fidelity. I'm sure Vanguard has the same. You can purchase this through a, your Roth account or your IRA account on this platform. If you have a Fidelity account, boom, set up a Roth account. You can buy FBTC ETF and stick it in your Roth. Boom. And then you are not going to worry about tax on any of that crap. You know what I mean? If you're contributing to your Roth IRA and you got money in there, you can buy FT, FBTC and let it ride. And anything, anything in a Roth, you're, you're good. You're golden. You're not going to have to worry about when you withdraw that, uh, when you're 59 and a half or the five-year minimum, whatever the thing is. You're good. You're good to go. If it, now, if it's an IRA, you can still do the same. You can go in your IRA, say you have Fidelity. Well, I would like to buy some FBTC. And you buy some of that FBTC ETF. Boom. Okay. It's going to accrue, 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 accrue. And say you want to sell, make some profits. Good. Guess what? You don't, that's not a taxable event because it's in your IRA. The taxing comes in if you early withdraw it before 59 and a half, you pay the 10% penalty. Ouch. Government wants the money. They want to take your money and send it over to some crap hole country while our country's falling apart. Yeah, think about that. It's kind of kind of a shame. But uh, that's that's uh, we won't get into that. That's a whole nother video. So you can do that in your IRA. Uh, then uh, if you hold it, but with IRAs, as you know, you got the um, if you live long enough, you got those required withdrawals, and that's when you start paying taxes on that as income. So that's a whole, I'm going off a tangent. So you can purchase this FPTC through uh, retirement tax strategies, which may be a good thing. The only thing about ETFs and that, and holding Bitcoin, and even Tesla crappy stock. My God, I'm so mad at Musk. Oh, uh, that, that earning, earnings call was a disaster, man. There, there are no adults in that room. But anyway, the problem with those type of holdings, they do not pay a dividend. They're just sitting there and you're just hoping and hoping, have all that hoping that it's going to go up. And then you got to then manually activate it to sell it, to get the profits. So it's like, eh, I, that's the only bad thing with this crap. Even crypto, I have a small percentage in it. But uh, I'm telling you, the real wealth building is with freaking, uh, what do they call it? Aristocrat dividend paying stocks. You just buy set and forget, reinvest. It's called compounding. It's the uh, ninth wonder of the world. And man, you can live off dividends. It's, it's a thing of beauty. You'll never, you'll never touch your core investment as you accrue enough on those. That's the thing, you gotta keep investing. 100 bucks, 100 bucks a month, whatever, whatever it takes. Trust me, I'm saying that is where your real, the real wealth building is made. This stuff is just hobby, speculation, even a Tesla stock. I'm like, what do I do with this thing now? I've held it. It's down 25% or 30% for me because the, I don't know. I think EVs are over. I think people realize they're not ready for prime time. In the cold, cold weather, you can't even charge them. And even in the hot, hot weather, you can't charge them. Uh, they're getting stuck in the snow because people still have their, you know, it's just, well, that's just tires. People don't know how to drive anyway. But uh, yeah, they're not charging. They're burning people's houses down. Not just Tesla, just other cars in, in general. Other EV cars are catching on fire. If they're in a wreck, the repair costs are outlandish. Maintenance costs are outlandish on EVs. Uh, when a tow truck will tow a EV, I'm just saying any electric vehicle, even, even a bicycle that has a lithium ion battery, if that gets salt water on it, that is going to have a thermal runaway. So yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. They tow these EVs to a, uh, uh, a car lot for holding. And they have to space them 50 feet because sometimes if a fire uh, department puts out the EV, it will uh, reignite like within hours because the cells are in a thermal runaway mode and they burn extra hot, takes a lot more water. So the uh, tow truck places have to put them spaced out so they don't burn the whole area down. It's Yeah. So anyway, that's my whole rant about Tesla and EVs. I don't know what to do with that. I think EV, it's over. No one can afford those turds and uh, they're just heavy cars I, I had one i had a tesla model s it was a heavy car it was fun for a little bit but i really prefer an internal combustion engine oh my even a manual baby i'd love to get a manual 
V6, Audi, or something like that, or even a pickup. I don't know. I miss that. Right now, I got a little pickup truck, which is fine. I got rid of a Tesla and got a little pickup truck, and it's the best thing in the world. All right. Well, that's all I'm going to talk about. I'd like a, it's like a coffee break time with a Crypto Jim. <laughs> If you guys see me out or know who run into me, you start going crypto Jim. I'll know it's you. I think yeah, that'd be funny. I'll buy you a coffee. <laughs> All right. So this old FBTC crap ETFs are going back up. Uh, full disclosure: I bought this crap right when it came out. I said I'll play with this. I'm an idiot. I should have. You always forget history, and you never buy anything new right off the bat. Because I bought it at forty, the high here, forty one. Boom, tank down. I'm like, ah, I didn't put much in, obviously. But it's just funny to see it go down. And now it's coming back. So I don't feel too too disappointed in my stupid life decisions. It's like bad decision, what is it? BDJ, bad decision Jim comes out and he uh, makes Kramer, James Kramer like uh, stock picks. So yeah, and then you lose all your money. So if you do the opposite of what I do, you might do all right. <laughs> That's the way I look at life. So anyway, it's, it, that is inching back up. Again, like I said, they're not paying me a dividend. I got to watch it when I'm up. I might dump it. And you're going to ride the ebbs and flows. It's almost not worth the, uh, the juice isn't worth the squeeze on monitoring this stuff. I'm just hoping Bitcoin does go up to a point where it's like, okay, I can now finally start cashing some of this out and roll it into a freaking uh, index fund. And I can just like let it ride and accumulate and compound. Um, We'll see what happens. I'm going to give this a while. The halving is coming up. The Bitcoin halving. Uh, remember the number, 430. I always remember 430. I think it's April 30th is the approximate time of the Bitcoin halving. I wonder if the ETFs were approved at the time they were for, for uh, strategic purposes because the halving was coming up. Because these guys at Vanguard, BlackRock, and uh, blah, 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 what's the other Fidelity, have to make these things successful. Otherwise, their good old boy network are going to be upset. They're going to get a phone call and uh, they're going to move their money away from that and just make those ETFs kind of worthless. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Oh, what else? What else do you want to talk about today? Oh, here's my basic stuff. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm in, I'm in watch mode right now. I'm amazed I even made this much money. I was hoping to make more back in November. I was hoping to be at 600 bucks double. But again, you were making such bank on paper <laughs> end of November with your stupid little mining rigs. And then now it's just like, ah, look at that. That's horrible. That's horrible. So I'm going to leave them on and I want to get to point zero one. And then if they're still about this, I'm just maybe turn them off for a while and just monitor it now and then and see what happens. Maybe what I'll do then, let's do this. We're just winging this video. What I'll do next, once I get to my, my, my uh, 0 0.01, we can go over to Zerg pool, do some, I'll show you how I solo mined some of the, uh, some of the coins out there on uh, using the CPU. Oh man. Yeah. I have to figure out how I did that. God, I forget how I did that. I did some solo mining and I actually hit a couple little blocks. Boom, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. And then I got paid out in Bitcoin on Zerg pool and they take their fees like nice hash does too, which is fine. You're paying for their service and to flip it from whatever coin I hit it on, whatever block you flip it, the Bitcoin, man, there's 50 bucks Bitcoin in your pocket. Boom. Move that to your uh, hard wallet on your, on your side of the fence and you're good to go. You just stack some uh, quick and dirty. The downside with solo mining is you may hit nothing. Therefore you have a huge, not a huge, you have a crude electricity bill on hardware that did nothing for you. So it's gambling, right? That's what makes it fun. It's gambling. It's a hobby. All right. Let's go forth and do great things. Keep going. Keep mining. And let me know what else is new. Someone mentioned mini AMD uh, computers for like 230 bucks. I looked into them. I don't know. I just don't know. I, I don't. I'm not, the, I'm, eh, I'm not at the point where I want to go buy one and try it. If someone knows about those, post down as post the specs of the actual AMD one you recommend, the, uh, the memory size, the uh, processor speed, stuff like that. Because I took some of those processor speeds on the, uh, 
AMD mini computers for under 300 bucks. I went to the uh, profitability calculator on, say, NiceHash. And uh, it wasn't that good. So I'm a little confused what I'm missing there. And I was going, wait a minute. These, those processors on these computers and the memory that they're selling these things at, that's not good at all. I mean, I don't know. I must have missed something. So I need someone to educate me and explain how it all works. Or maybe I'll just go, I might have to go to AI, chat GPT, and have a talk with my girl who sounds like Scarlett Johansson by, by, that's by design for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And I want I want to ask Gojo Ho, um, what she thinks I should do if I should buy a mini AMD computer, and what is the actual hash rate? And AI is going to make it so I don't have to think anymore and just tell me what what to do. I wish it would tell me which stocks to pick, but uh, they're not quite there yet. Oh no, they are there. I have to look into that. But I'm not willing to lose everything. <laughs> yeah, working at a job sucks. C O J, crappy old job. J O B, just over broke. Get your wealth going, guys. Financial independence means freedom, opportunity to go do what you want to do, not sit in front of Netflix all day, but go on and do what you want to do. You want to work part-time somewhere, go ahead. You want to start a business, go ahead. All right. All right. All right, guys, go forward to great things. I'm out of here. I'm going to go take my dog out for a walk. And uh, yeah, sit down and relax. Thanks for watching.